I wanted a new shotgun mic windscreen, but I didn't want to pay two or three or four hundred dollars for one. So I decided to make one. I started with this stuff, hardware cloth. You can get big rolls of it at Lowe's for like five bucks. I also used a couple small nuts and bolts and some angle brackets, one of which I pounded flat with a hammer. Some rubber bands to hold the mics. These ones are really good, they're silicone and they last a long time. A few tools I already had, a Phillips screwdriver, a wrench, needle nose pliers, and some tin snips. Professional windscreens are sometimes called dead cats or dead kittens because they're covered with fur. But I didn't want to have to pay money for it, so I went to a thrift shop and I bought a dead teddy bear. More about him in a minute. I started by laying out the mic next to the hardware cloth so I knew how long to make it. So then I cut the hardware cloth to form a cylinder that would fit around the mic. I left these long ends on the wire because I thought I could use them to help close the thing together, which was a good idea. Then I cut a zigzag pattern in the end so that it would fold up and close. Then I rolled up the hardware cloth and bent the wire ends over to hold it together. Then I bent the pieces on the end over to help kind of close the ends up. Next I made a few cuts in the wire so I could get the rubber band through and secure it. And then I strung it through using a paper clip to help pull it. Then I bent the wires back to hold the rubber bands in place. Then I put the mic through the rubber bands so it would float and not touch the sides, so it would be nice and quiet. Then I connected the audio cable and started adding some stuffing from my friend the teddy bear to help insulate the mic from the wind. Once I had all the stuffing in, I closed up the ends tight and bent the wires to keep them shut. And then I attached the L bracket with the nuts and bolts to give me something to connect it to a pole. So here's what it looked like before it was covered. But of course, it needs skin to be complete. So, hello teddy bear. Your legs look like exactly the right size. <coughs> oh boo hoo, I'm giving him a dignified life after death. So I cut a hole in the fur for the cable, strung the cable through, wrapped it around the cage, and here's my finished product. I even left the tail on, because I thought it was cute. So I connected this to a pole using a hose clamp, but you could probably screw it onto a wooden pole and find, find some other way to connect it. You might be wondering if this thing actually works, but it really does. Check it out. Alright, here's a regular shotgun mic with just a little foam windscreen protector. Probably hear a lot of wind noise. Let's check out the teddy bear. All right, here's the teddy bear. Hear the difference? Fairly windy day, does a killer job.